Fields of Green, I think, is at a point where we really do need your support. We're in this awkward position now where we've got this bill pending and all this news pending in September. But the reality of it is that we are a non-profit company, essentially. You know, we all have our nine to fives and then we put in the time we have to keep things running. But electricity isn't free. No, neither is data. Data isn't free. Bury rolls on free. But you know what I mean, guys? I'm not yet to say we're going to charge anyone to watch us. and that could, This is always going to be free for yeah. us because this is fun. We do this out of love. I mean, we've even come to a decision that we're all going to chip in together and become paid affiliates of Fields of Green for all. Yeah. Like, the, the Hot Box Show is going to also become affiliates. We'll, we can flash our own little logo up there in amongst all the rest of our beautiful affiliates because we feel it's the right thing to do. So, we're asking you to help carry on joining us on this journey. Um, mm. Virtual made a very heartfelt uh, video. I don't know if we're winning on it. Uh, Cool, man. We're just yeah. going to play a little bit of an appeal from Myrtle. This was a hard time for all of us with the loss of jewels. Uh, but we're asking if you still just stand tall and help us tighten the ship. Yeah. yeah. Throw a buck. It'll help us. Keep it the really ship will. sailing. Yeah, dude. And nail that goal. It's basically what we have to do. Nice. Cav ZA busy sorting out to join the Ducker Network as I watch the show. Thank and you so much. Really? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it, and it's more than just this. It's also got yeah. gang value. But yeah, even there if is actual <laughs> value to join. Even if you only yeah. like what we do, I promise. Even me, I'm digging deep. I'm putting cash in. I'm not mm. talking shit. I'm not like one of those fucking preachers that takes your money and has the cushy cushy shit. Not We're yet. not those oaks. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Testify, brother. <laughs> no, but seriously, guys, that little bit, that little bit, because behind the scenes, people are still being arrested. Our friend who sits here was bust not two, three fucking weeks ago, bro, and went missing for two, three days. Yeah. Dude, the, the, the shit is still hitting the fan. You can go look on the news. Oaks are still getting bust. A lot of you at home are having awkward lifestyles with your loved ones because we are still perceived as criminals within ourselves. We don't one. even see all the busts on the media because it's, you know, they, it's don't, old news. they don't advertise the small little busts where they smack the oaks around, grab all their money and their weed and then just like drop them off on the way to the cop shop kind of thing. It's just, it's human rights abuses and we, it has to stop. And it has to, we have to stop the cops, guys. That's why our job is not finished. That's why we need your support. <coughs> We're good. Today is four weeks since the criminals came into our home and shot Julian in our bed. I've been left in a situation that's very difficult for me because we have to raise funds in order to keep going, in order to be safe here in the jazz farm. The jazz farm is home to our little family, to Fields of Green for All, to the Dacher couple, and of course, Lots of people have been here from all over the world. I need money in order to make sure that we are safe and secure here in the jazz farm in Johannesburg, South Africa. As many people know, South Africa has got one of the highest crime rates in the world. This has left me without my soulmate, my partner, and I need to just carry on. So the Jazz Farm security is my first priority when it comes to fundraising. Our non-profit company, Fields of Green for All, has been going for 10 years, ever since we were arrested right here at the Jazz Farm in 2010. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we had to cancel our biggest fundraising event of the year, our annual D-Day 420 party, which everybody looks so forward to. But Life is what it is, so we need to carry on and actually finish the work that Julian, myself and our amazing crew started nearly 10 years ago. In order to finish this work, we have a very set number of things that we need to do and you can always consult our website if you need more information. Our main priority is obviously to change the law over everything else. 
but we also need to ensure that under the privacy ruling in the Constitutional Court from 2018, that we have our Dacha private clubs written into law and that we preserve these clubs for our communities and they're not invaded by large corporates who want to franchise the idea. We also need to finish our manifesto for full policy reform here in South Africa and try somehow to get our voices out there to be heard so that we can have fields of green for all South Africans. The trial of the plant is not over. It was started in 2017 and I will be going back to court in order to finish what we started. As we know, litigation is very, very expensive, but despite the amazing pro bono support from Schindler's attorneys and our advocates, these things just cost money. And I know in my heart that raising money was the worst job for Jules. He hated having to ask. So now I'm asking for both of us and for my crew. It's very distressing here in South Africa to see how the police treat us citizens. As you know, alcohol and cigarettes have been banned during lockdown, so there's a booming black market. Are we not surprised? <laughs> um, and our, one of our biggest priorities is to stop the cops. It distresses me that in the four weeks since Julian's been taken away from us, my very own crew has been harassed by the police. The arrests are still coming in daily. The ignorance and lack of resources when it comes to the South African police service is something that you will be hearing from me about because it is something that I feel very strongly about. It also takes money in order to get legal opinions and employ legal teams in order to help all of our South African cannabis community who are continually harassed by the police. So that is my three priorities for sitting here today and asking you for your support. Firstly, to beef up the jazz farm security to keep myself and my family safe. Secondly, to keep fields of green for all going so that we may finish the job that we started nearly 10 years ago. And it's quite ironic that on Tuesday next week, on the 5th of August, it will be 10 years since the South African police broke down our door and invaded our home at 2 o'clock in the morning. And it is further even more ironic that the robbers, the criminals who came into our home, came in at two o'clock in the morning. So let that be a word to the South African police service. You invaded our homes just like the criminals and we are going to get you. Lastly, I'd just like to thank everybody from all over the world for the amazing, amazing messages. People have sent music and art and flowers, messages of love. Thank you very much and I look forward to chatting to you and my, my team is there to answer any of your questions. Shouts out to the technical mm. acts for pulling that off on mm. such short notice. Thank you very much. Uh, guys, please go check out the Fields of Green for All site. We've got a lot of info on that there. Uh, Marley was really tuning me. Shout out to Marley. Buzz, don't forget to speak about the blog. So um, there's, a, there's a great blog on the site that explains why we need this funding. It explains our priorities. And, you know, it's such strange times for everyone, guys. I don't even know what to say. Because also, I know that at home, we we're all going through our own shit as well. So even if all you're able to do is like or share or subscribe, mm. that helps too. Share. It does. Please share you the know, campaign. Really? Share. share the That's whole also great. other campaign. That really will help because imagine if you share it to 100 people, even 10 people and one of those 10 take it or do something about it. It's better than nothing. Yeah, and it's not like some pyramid scheme shit, no. dude, because we love doing this with you. And the, the fact of the matter is, this is never going to be a monetized thing. We're never going to hit a million views. But as long as you are prepared to help us burn this fire bright as we can, yeah. I promise I will stand here and burn it with we you. Will. We will. And get grilled as fuck. 
Always. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so uh, on the on the blog they do talk about the priorities being, of course, the security of the JS farm. Because uh, even though we sit here on the show, to many of us, this property is our home. This is where we live and also escape sometimes the one dimensionalities of stonerism. So there is the reality of not just uh, securing the farm, but preserving the farm. And because, Jules' dream at the farm. You know, it was Jules who built all this. His blood, sweat and tears. 30 years of blood, sweat and tears. Yeah. I tell you, the land even mourned. What they'd also like to take a, a long, hard look at is this has always been a from our hearts exercise. It is becoming so full-time fields of green and no one's complaining. We love it, but we do need to start being in a position where we can start paying the volunteers more because we are seeing talent around us and to retain this talent, it costs money. Because we can only get so far on love and weed. Everybody has bills to pay. Expert witnesses cost a lot of money as well when they were here. So it wasn't, you know, the money did go somewhere. That, mm. that unfortunately, as we all know, the government dicked us around and caused a fucking huge amount of a loss. So, yes, it does help us in the most important ways. The then, one thing we can be guaranteed of is that the government will continue to dick us around for as long as humanly possible. Yeah, guys, get the butt of the scene, hey. Because you guys are both hitting the nail on the head. You hit it earlier and Dan just hit it. The trial of the plant. That's literally the next point here. It's that the trial of the plant is still very relevant in a way because we should not assume that this is going to be an easy thing. This may be it, guys. We aren't there yet. We passed the free the weed. Free we the are not weed. legal until the oak like at the, gar at the, the robot selling the little matchbox is legal and not being harassed by the police we're not stopping we're not stopping guys that's the reality of it we never have we're not going to i don't think any of you at home are going to uh, what's also very relevant is fga's full spectrum manifesto for policy reform yes. this is something that, that is myrtle huge. has put many weekends of her life into a lot of other people have put their expertise and time yes. into it i think it's like a 52 page document that explains uh, not just what we think we should consider, but potentially some of the solutions. We don't ha uh, have the answers, but we're saying this is what the discussion should be about. Yes. Uh, it's for free on the site. You can go download it if you like. But it needs to be something that's more real and in government space. Uh, we also need to think about uh, the National South African Cannabis Survey. Uh, and I know that the C words had a big effect on everything, but I think there is a solid intention mm -hmm. to get real information and data about mm -hmm. us because right at the moment, it's mostly anecdotal. I don't even think government has truly solid data about cannabis and cannabis no. consumption in South Africa. No, no, well, we can tell by the idea doubt. of a bill that they have no who's idea going what to actually is, about. Who's actually going to disclose that they cannabis smoke or consume cannabis truly to the government? Exactly, bro. Yeah. Why the fuck? How are they going to get that data? Because they give us such shit. No one's going to give you the numbers. Yeah. You are, you've just... Fuck yourself. It's yeah. always cop-driven numbers, yeah. but on that last, and certainly not least, we need to stop the cops. The cops are not our enemies, even though some see it as a point. They behave like our enemies, but they shouldn't be seen as our yeah. enemies. And they shouldn't all be tarred with the same brush. I think that would be wrong. But we do need to stop... But they what are all servants. Agreed, bro. Public they servants. They do are need to servants. stop. We need to stop the cops from beating down doors, shooting dogs, separating families... Putting kids in jail Stealing your for cash. weed. For weed. And we're not talking about people who are getting caught with tons of weed. We're talking about people who are getting caught with grams. This oak here got, got mugged, mugged for 0 0.08 grams. They scraped the grinder, basically. 0 0.08. I don't even think they had a scale to fucking weigh that. They probably had to go weigh it on the baloney machine. No, you read it wrong, even. Is it, that? Yeah, it's was yeah. it 0 0.0008, bro? It was 8 grams on a kilogram scale, and he thought he's cheating me by removing a zero, but the paperwork is in grams. So I was winning all day, and he took it from thousands, 8,000, to 800, and he thought he was winning. So something we have learned, we have learned that, that the blue spider mites and the hot fox crew are not good. At mathematics. No. <laughs> so, not our strong guys, that, yeah. I am done shaking the tin, washing the window, asking you if you've got two rand to feed the cause. Please, go do your bit. There's no pressure. We're hanging out. <laughs>